All right, it's finally happening. The big show! D23 is back. And this time we've arrived more ridiculously early than ever. Because we have got fancy exhibitor badges. Allie and I are going to be helping at none other than our friend Bob Gurr's booth. Which means for once we had to show up before the crowds. Dude, this is going to be awesome. D23 Expo, the 10th anniversary, I believe. Wow, I have never seen this few people in front of D23. Wait a minute. I take that back. Would you look at the size of that crowd? It's gargantuan. And eerily quiet. Look at all of those excited people just patiently waiting so silently. There must be thousands of Disney fans right there. And listen, you can hear a pin drop. Oh my gosh. All right, well, we better get inside before they unleash the hordes. And first things first, we should probably check into the booth. Wow, this is so weird. I mean, there's already quite a few early birds lined up, but nothing like the tens of thousands of people who are about to come in here. Come on, Allie, we gotta get in there. All right. Oh, it is good to be back. Whoa, looks like we were here just in time for the money shot. Look at this, D23 is beginning. Oh my gosh. Okay, this actually means we're a little bit late. We better hurry and find our booth. Wow, look at this. Look at all the stuff. Star Wars costume. Check out the Marvel Studios booth with all the Marvel hero costumes. Wow, dude, that is awesome. Of course, no one's paying attention to that. Everyone in here is rushing to the store. Literally, at least two days ago, people started lining up outside the Anaheim Convention Center here in hopes of being the first to snag some of this swag. Oh, I can feel it in my bones. It's gonna be a big year. Look at this, they got a lot of Disney Plus announcements to make. <laughs> Celebrities will be everywhere, and yesterday during the setup, I noticed even more specialty merchandise shops than ever before. And dude, look at the line already for some of that merch. Holy cow, how bad do you need that Funko Pop? Look at this, even Spider Man has to wait in line. Ooh, look at this fancy D23 member lounge because, of course, D23 is the official Disney fan club. The expo here is just an extension of that that happens every other other year. But what's weird is even though it's been two years since we last partied at D23, it kind of feels like I was just here yesterday. Oh, wait a minute. I was just here yesterday while they were setting all this up. Okay, we have now entered the Emporium area. This is where they set up all the random vendors with all their random merchandise. Some of which is very cool. And very fancy. Look at this. The Van Eaton Galleries booth. Complete with authentic Tiki Room birds from the Tiki Room in Florida. And look, they still work. Just push the button here. Whoa. Come on. This is amazing. And that's not all. Look at this. An original Epcot ride vehicle from the Living Seas. A piece of 80s Epcot history. And they're actually letting you sit in it. These are the same people that put on that amazing That's from Disneyland exhibition. They're always auctioning off crazy stuff from the parks. And I've already gotten totally distracted because we're supposed to find our booth. Let's see, we got wigs, we got jewelry, we got backpacks. Oh. I see the red flags. Looks like we found it. The official Bob Gurr Walt Land booth featuring, not Bob Gurr, but Creepy Ernie. Bob will be here later. Wow, look at this spread. The Random Land coloring books are ready to go. How long have you been here setting up? Since four in the morning. Oh, sorry we were late. Ooh, look at Bob Gurr's new book is here on sale. I just realized Bob and I are both authors now. I mean, I didn't draw the pictures, but I did write the captions. I'm an author, you guys. I'm an author. Ooh, I like this area we're set up in here nice and wide. Kind of a little bit on the edge of the universe, but the good thing is we are right up close to center stage. Hey, maybe we'll see a celebrity today after all. Whoa, look at the line for the Disney Studio store. All these people are waiting for their exclusive pin sets and D23 merch. Gotta be honest with you though, I am relieved because for a second I thought that was the line for the restroom. Oh, I'm so happy. Oh, okay, now I'm ready to party. Uh-oh. What's happening? It is Brett Howard. What? Look at that, it's my friend Brett. Boy, 
voice of this Mickey Mouse. Mouse. Hey, look at this. It's Why? Brett's parents. Yeah, that's crazy. Also, Most people aren't even in inside yet. And already the festivities are kicking off. Dude, how awesome is that? The voice of Mickey Mouse, DCA, and Disneyland all on the same stage. Whoa, look at this. We've already got another celebrity sighting. Adam the Woo from YouTube. Dot com it's too early for the shot. Jamie, get some coffee. Get some here, I'll tell you what, you get some coffee, charge it to me, they'll know who I am. Alright. And you get woken up, and then we'll get crazy. Alright, I've seen some friends, I dropped my bag off. Alright, okay. Well, it is filling up like crazy. When I hear that line outside is having a heck of a time getting in, but I'm sure it'll all work itself out. In the meantime, I'm gonna gawk at these Star Wars costumes just for a second. Oh, check out these ones, Ali. It's a first order jet trooper and a Sith trooper from the upcoming Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker. It's true, I was not a big fan of The Last Jedi, but I am very curious about what they're going to do in the next movie. And I always love a good stormtrooper armor. Any trooper. Especially, of course, the classics. Someday, Jennifer. Okay, this is crazy. AJ here went to the Clown Motel and found our clown on the wall. This is not Disney related, but very cool. That's awesome. Oh man, you never know what you're gonna see at D23. Ooh, that reminds me that Tony Stark, Robert Downey Jr. himself is getting inducted this year as a Disney legend at this show. So we gotta keep our eyes open for him. Oh, hey Captain, how you doing? Oh, wait a minute. That's an even Captain. better Captain America suit. It's the Captain. I love that. Dude, it is so cool the way they've got all these Marvel costumes on display. I am still so far behind with all the Marvel movies. I've got so much catching up to do. People always say, well, how much? Let's put it this way. I just finished Captain America Winter Soldier. So clearly I'm doing this wrong. I did see the last Thor movie though, which was very funny. So I have seen some other things out of order, but I really honestly just need to sit down and watch them all. Especially because people keep giving me all the spoilers. All right, obviously Star Wars and Marvel movies are a very big deal for Disney these days. But probably the biggest Disney hubbub of all at the moment is all the scuttlebutt over Disney Plus. Disney, Pixar, Marvel, Star Wars, National Geographic, ESPN, Hulu. They're bringing all kinds of crazy content together in their new streaming service for like 12 or 13 bucks a month. Something like that, really cheap. Dude, I'm not gonna lie to you. The idea of Disney Plus gets me pretty darn excited. Maybe they'll finally find a way to stream the Scarecrow of Romney Marsh. I really hope they have a lot of classic content on there. Speaking of Disney Plus content, check this out. Costumes from The Mandalorian. The first real live action Star Wars TV show. And I say that kind of loosely because it's coming to Disney Plus. Dude, this is so cool. I'm one of those fans, like I said, that got very jaded by The Last Jedi. And I can't help but still get excited when I see new Star Wars things coming. New fandom runs too deep. Oh, wow. Look how much it's filled up already. We gotta try and squeeze in some more big booths before things get out of control. There are so many cool displays to choose from, like the history of Autopia walkthrough, Galaxy's Edge, giant Pixar booth. But before we get to any of that, we got to see what is going on with the parks. And that means checking out the biggest, baddest booth of them all, the Disney Parks Imagining Tomorrow Today booth. Wow, colorful. Dude, look at this right from the gate. Bam. It's the Halcyon. This is the ship right here that the Star Wars Hotel is based on. This is the ship that visitors will be boarding for their two-day or two-night experience. And this display is pretty cool. They're using these little projections here to highlight different areas of the ship and then showing you concept artwork, like of the bridge right there. And we've seen the casino and the state rooms. Dude, this is gonna be one crazy thing when it hits Disney World. Ooh, the Star Wars Hotel. From what I hear, it's gonna be pretty pricey, but hopefully Hopefully I'll get a chance to check it out. Wow, and look at this. Recognize the bottom of this castle? It's a clone of Disneyland. That was the castle at Hong Kong. And this is what it's becoming, dude. Look at the size 
of that. I love how they sort of kept the original castle intact and then just kind of added on to the back of it to make it look much bigger. That is sweet. Don't get me wrong. I hope they never do that in Anaheim. But for Hong Kong, that is pretty cool. All right, that was just a little foretaste. Let's see what else we've got in here. Oh my God. Yes. 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 The new Epcot logo, all uppercase again. There was a rumor that the name would go back to Epcot Center. Which, of course, would have been awesome. But hey, an old school logo? I'll take it. Wow, dude, look at all these old school Epcot posters. And coming up at the end of this weekend, we're going to be revealing a new one. The rumor is it's going to be a Brazilian pavilion. I think between Germany and Italy, just like the real Brazil. Wow, dude. Look at this. They're bringing old school Epcot logos back into the mix. I think that is awesome. With so much new stuff coming to Epcot, like Guardians of the Galaxy and so many others, it's awesome that they're simultaneously going back to some of their history, some of their roots. Okay, they're showing us all kinds of different stuff based on this model here. I see Guardians of the Galaxy. What else have we got here? Oh, the new Ratatouille stuff. Dude, the concept artwork looks amazing. Amazing. Whoa. They're even showing us artwork for the new Epcot Forever fireworks show. Okay, now look at this. There's another new Epcot thing coming that they just announced. Woo! Moana Journey of Water. They haven't been too specific yet, just that it's a Moana attraction and there's waters and a nice setting. There, that's going to be sick. And what can they say except you're welcome. Ooh. This must be the new Play Pavilion stuff over there by the old Wonders of Life. Oh, man. See, I love Epcot as it is and has been for the last few years, but one thing is for sure, it's been showing its age. So I think it's awesome that it's getting so many new attractions. I just wish we could get Maelstrom back. Whoa. Look at some of the new Epcot swag, too. Look at that pin set. Oh, man. How great is that? But let's remember, it's not just Epcot getting new attractions. Don't forget that any time now, Hollywood Studios is going to get Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway, and they finally revealed the ride vehicle. Wait a minute, what does that say? Run amok Railroad. I've heard a lot of good things about this ride from some of the Imagineers here. I was skeptical before, so, but now I am very optimistic about this. It's kind of about time that Mickey had a ride. Ooh, and speaking of new rides, dude, look at that. It's the Tron Light Cycle Run Ride Vehicle. Dude, coming to a Magic Kingdom near you. If you, you know, live in Orlando. Yeah, that thing is sleek looking. I am not the world's biggest Tron fan, but all the concept artwork and all the stuff I've seen from Shanghai looks so sick. And the uniforms aren't too shabby either. Wow. Gosh, I love this. So much is going on. So much is happening. Look at everybody's been so mesmerized by all the concept artwork and all the pictures of recent projects like Galaxy's Edge. Disney Imagineering has been doing some amazing Amazing, amazing work over the last couple of years. I mean, seriously, they really took things up a notch. Look at this, we found our friend Holly from Hi. England, but living in China, and as ever, doing all kinds of amazing original Disney artworks. Holly's our international friend. Last time we saw you was in Paris. Oh, yeah. You I'm pop up everywhere. You got married at Disney World in Florida. She gets around. She gets around. Look at this little dark green duck she drew. How cool is that? And how cool is this? It's the Dream Finder. Where's Figment? Well, Figment's never far away. Okay. You know, he could be with you at any moment. He's in our imagination. Man, I've got to stop getting distracted because there's even more. Behold, the Avengers Campus section. Apparently, that's the official newly announced name of the Marvel Land going into DCA here in California. And here is a model. Whoa. As you can see, there's Guardians of the Galaxy there, the old Tower of Terror. And this all would have been Bugs Land back in the day. Now replaced by the Avengers Campus. That is going to be crazy. Avengers fans, get stoked. The crazy part is Avengers Campuses are going in all over the world. We got one in California. One's going into Paris at the Studios Park. 
Hong Kong. Like I said, I'm really far behind with my Marvel movies. But even I am stoked on the new Avengers stuff going into the parks. Of course, I'm primarily interested in the one in California. I mean, after all, that is my home base, as it were. They've also got a model for the one coming to Disneyland Paris as well. And as much as I love the Studios Park over there, they could really use the additions that are coming. I believe they're getting a Galaxy's Edge, the Avengers Campus, even a Frozen Land. So pretty soon, Walt Disney Studios Park in Paris is going to be the place to be. Look at this, we got Dipper Pines with Spider-Man. Two celebrities in one sick pitch. Man, that is one heck of a suit. You think you can pick one of these up at Men's Warehouse? You're going to like the way you look. I guarantee it. What's going on with this? Ooh, it's Jarvis. Dude, look at people interacting with this display. Using nothing but their hands. And I mean touch free. Dude, that is crazy. The future is here. That is incredible technology. I'm guessing those little boxes up there have something to do with it. That is so freaking cool. How about that? We're getting to Marvel Town. We have Star Wars Town, now Marvel Town. What's next, Aladdin Town? I don't know, but what I do know is these pretzels are making me thirsty. These pretzels are making me thirsty. All right, time to move on to another booth. I do not know what this line is for. There's so many meet and greets and giveaways. Crazy fun photo op. That if you can tell anymore. But I think it's just for that picture. You can't really blame them for standing in line. Everyone wants a pic with Anna and Elsa. Because let's not forget Frozen 2 is coming. But of course there's no way to know for sure if it's gonna be popular, but let me tell you. People are starting to murmur. All right, so that was the Disney animation side. And I believe Pixar is around the back. They're like roommates these days. Wow. Would you look shy of that booth? Dude, sweet. Check out this sick old van with the Pegasus on the back. This is exactly the kind of van I used to tour in. I mean, slightly less Pixar looking, but I can tell this was actually made out of a GMC or Chevy van. It looks almost identical to my old van. Apparently, this is part of promoting a new movie, Disney Pixar Onward. We got elf looking guys with patches. Sick tour vans with Pegasuses on them. Wait, is it Pegasuses or Pegasi? Pegasi? I've been out of the loop on this one, but I gotta tell you, I am interested. I miss my old van, the old GMC Starcraft. Now that's a fun pick right there. I'm embarrassed to say I actually haven't seen Toy Story 4 yet. Allie saw it. Did you like it? Yeah. yeah. Oh, ugh. Well, she probably just didn't like it because I wasn't there with her. Whoa, dude. Would you look at the size of this wall of balls? Now that's a sick selfie opportunity right there. The old ball wall. We're taking a sick Pixar pick. Oh, what a Fun one. Look at that, they got another Toy Story 4 fun pick over there as well. See, Pixar knows about picks. You can tell, it's right in the name. Oh, looks like they're showing something new over here, and Mary Poppins and Bert are very interested. I definitely want to check that out later, but in the meantime, look at this. This is starting to become a D23 tradition. Just like last time, the Walt Disney Hometown Museum in Marceline, Missouri, where we've been many times together, has brought a few benches to the convention where, just like last time, we can sign our names, and they will then place the benches in the museum, and then maybe eventually Walt's barn, just like last time. And look, Allie signed our names for me, right here, right on the bench. Ooh, look at this, they got two of them. Oh, we gotta sign both. This one is my turn. Here we go. Ta-da! <sighs> Tradition achieved. I look forward to seeing my name on a bench again. All right, well, we've seen a bunch of the big ones now. So we're gonna scoot back over to the booth. Because it's been a couple of hours, and I'm guessing that by now, Ernie's probably got a pee. Ooh, starting to see more and more cosplayers. Like, look at this uh, one. It's the real Han Solo, still frozen in carbonite. The other guy that they unfroze, all a conspiracy. <laughs> oh, weird. I was looking at that for a while, and you know how I said I'm not caught up on the Marvel movies, etc., etc. For a second, I thought maybe Disney bought Lord of the Rings or something, but <laughs> no, no. <laughs> That's just my being behind again. One of these days, I'm gonna know what's going on. All right, just headed back to the 
emporium area over here. And look what they've got for people along the way. It's a little Cars Land Woody and Buzz. I can't remember if they have these out in the park for a Halloween or for Pixar Fest. Ever since that old concussion, things get kind of mixed up in there. Well, how cool is that to have those just chilling there for people to take pictures with? Ah, uh, wow, as you can see, a lot more people in here now, mostly in line to get into the arena. But also for all the activities over on the center stage. Good thing Brett and all them get to go back up there later in the afternoon again for a much bigger crowd. Oh, hey there, Han. How you doing? A little cold? Yeah. <laughs> Great minds. Anyway, we better get back over towards the booth, but the good thing is, since it's located in the Emporium, Bob's booth is adjacent to all kinds of crazy stuff. I mean, literally just past the Wallland booth. Who files in history has set up camp. And look what they brought to the party. Dude, that is awesome. I'm a little spoiled because my friend Bob's got one in his living room. But you can never see too many toad cars. I mean, dude, check this out here. Test heads for journey into imagination. Dumbo storyboards. One of those epic RC jungle cruise boats. Even an old Skyway bucket. Dude, that is awesome. I was always terrified to actually ride on these things, but I do miss seeing them over the skies of Disneyland. Very, very much. So much amazing stuff just at this one booth. And then the crazy part is right behind them. The whole Van Eaton setup. That's part of the fun here. Is that some of these fancier auction booths have got real ride vehicles. Yeah, that is so awesome. Dude, Adam, did you see? The Living Seas. The Living Seas vehicle. Now, you grew up going to Disney Nemo. World. Nemo. So you remember this. You've sat and sit in it again. It's comfortable. This is it. We're in the, the Living Seas. We're in the Living Seas? It's the 80s. Okay, we're in the Living Seas. What are we seeing? No pun intended. We're not seeing Nemo. We wouldn't be seeing these. No, we wouldn't be there, seeing this. There wouldn't be anybody walking by. We would be seeing... You're putting me on the spot here. Fish. We'd I'm be, guessing. We would be seeing fish. Uh -huh. We'd be seeing under... Like this? Under, Is that a fish? <laughs> you need a fish. <laughs> Whenever I'm in, in the living seas, I, whoever... I'm all riding a, in a ride vehicle within the living seas. I put my arm around them like this. <laughs> no, for real. Well, put your head down. Put your head up. Keep your head up. It, got, you it suddenly got up? really warm in here. In case I don't see you. Good afternoon, afternoon good, good evening, evening, and good night. good night. See you later, buddy. Go enjoy the convention. We'll hang out later. We'll get some fries. Some bottomless lies. Goodbye, Wu. And we never saw him again. It was so sad. Uh, Ooh, speaking of ride vehicles, I almost forgot that all the way in the back corner are a couple of old friends that almost everybody's been missing. Feast your eyes on this. It's Francis and Heimlich from Bugs Land. Feels like it was just yesterday. We were riding in these things in Bugs Land in DCA. And now today we're looking at concept artwork for Marvel Town that's gonna replace them. Ah, good old Heimlich's Choo Choo Train. This guy should go down in history as one of the most gentle, uh, least thrilling rides in all of Disney theme park history, but just because it wasn't a thrill ride doesn't mean that it wasn't fun to ride. So it's no wonder that people are stoked to get fun pics. Plus, there's always something special about seeing ride vehicles out of the park. It's just weird, like seeing a teacher outside of school. It hasn't really been quite long enough to really have missed these guys yet. But still, it's good to see them all the same. Now, there are tons of people who would like to own a ride vehicle and put it in their house. But you know what I'd like to have even more is what's over here on the edge of the mice chat booth. Look at this. It's Mark freaking Twain. Part of Garner Holt Productions' Living Faces of History project. Most people have seen the crazy animatronic Lincoln face that they've created on TV. Doing all the wacky expressions, but what they don't know is they've also managed to recreate the faces of other historic people in including Mark Twain. Now, I'm a huge Mark Twain fan. I have asked Garner over and over if I can have one of these, but the answer is always no. Mr. Clemens, you look so realistic. I've always wanted to meet you. Get up close and personal. Mostly because I didn't think it would be this awkward. How awesome is 
that so crazy? They analyzed hundreds of photographs to create that model. They used life casts. So Mark Twain's actual face. It is the most realistic depiction of Mark Twain they could possibly create. And if you Google the video of Garner Holt's crazy expressive Lincoln, you'll see that once they finally animate one of these Mark Twains, for us Twainiacs, it's going to be in Twain. Wait a minute. What's that sound? Something is happening. Ooh, it's a parade. I think it's going to swing right past the booth. I'm going to grab Bob's chair. Oh, here it comes. Parade. Get ready, Marco. It's the parade of the snacks. The parade of the snacks. Yeah. All right, here it comes. D23 Expo Street Party. They're a little bit ahead of the band, so there's not much music yet. But at least we're enjoying it from the comfort of Bob Gurr's chair. Yeah. Eyes are those balloons. Oh, it's Goofy. Ooh. Hey, Goofy, I like that gold chain. Donald. Oh, and who have we got here? Who is it, Marco? It's uh, Swampy Marsh and Jeff. I can't remember his name. And then Vincent Martella. Oh, so. okay. Phineas and Ferb people. Yeah. I see. Oh, boy. Okay, here comes the band now. Time to get all street party on. Wow. Look at that. Dude, can you believe this? Holy moly! What other company's convention has its own parade and marching band? Oh my gosh, they're making up! Dude, that is awesome! Oh, look, the costume contest winners! Whoa, look at that! There's the Haunted Mansion, there's Lumiere! Look at all of these fans! Fantastic outfits! Whoa! So many princesses! That is amazing! Oh, look, it's already over! Short but sweet, just like Allie over here. And sorry for bending your chair, Bob. But thanks for letting me borrow it. Wait a minute, why weren't you with the contest winners in the parade over there? Oh, because you're the real dream finder. And it's Figment! Finally, Figment, we get together outside the ride. We've been saying we were going to for years and years and years and years, and you're <laughs> finally here. Here I am. And I gotta go, I'm busy. See you later. Whoa, look at this. That's fantastic. Beauty and the Beast are trying to bust some ghosts. I don't know. You guys are kind of outnumbered here. This is gonna be one heck of a showdown. You guys are either all gonna fight or get married over here at the wedding booth. Well, you know, I think it's time, Bill. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I just noticed the head in the hat box there. That's awesome. Look at this fancy Disney wedding booth over here. That's crazy. Man, they do some beautiful themed weddings. And they've got some great fun pick opportunities at their booth. It's crazy how much Disney does now. They do their fairy tale weddings thing. Then, of course, they've got Run Disney. Uh, don't even get me started on the Disney merchandise. It's like they've got a finger in every pie imaginable, except for hopefully the ones at the food court. Oh, wait a minute. I can't eat pie. Go ahead. Stick your finger Right here. Right, maybe it's time for one more wander. In between all the stuff I've been showing you guys, I've been meeting dozens and dozens of people. It's been a fun pick festival. Just make sure if we took a fun pick together, you tag me on Instagram at Justin Scarred. Two R's, guys. All right, well, we've already seen the Disney Plus booth and the Marvel Studios area. What haven't we seen? Oh, hey, it's a good fireman up there. What you think? Samurai Dude Vader, nice! And then we got the Dude Thor over here, sweet! Just looking at the lines from the stores, they are still quite tasty! A little too tasty for me! Well, that's okay, I didn't bring much spending money anyways! Yeah. Look at the size of that line right there! The day is more than halfway over now! And people are still lining up for their crack at the merch! Actually, I think I'll go a different route! I forgot that there's a whole huge display! Play. From the Walt Disney Archives over here, Heroes and Villains, the art of the Disney costume. Yeah. Look at the size of that line. This is a very popular exhibit. Once you're inside, it's easy to see why, especially when you get into the main room. Who 
Would you look at the size of this exhibit? It's massive. Not just the space it takes up, but the selection of things. Check out the screen used Sanderson sisters dresses or the suit worn by Martin Short as Jack Frost. For whatever reason, I swear to you, this is one of Allie's favorite characters ever. She always says she has a crush not on Martin Short, but on Jack Frost specifically. Dude, this dress was worn by Kieran Knightley. This was worn by Colin Firth in Mary Poppins Returns. Wow. Now, Mr. Darcy, and this one was Michael Keaton's suit in Dumbo. And those are all just the tip of the friggin' iceberg in here. Look at this, you got Ramsley's outfit from the Haunted Mansion movie. You got Barbosa's outfit from Pirates of the Caribbean. They've raided the closets of Gaston and the Beast. Gaston had great taste, just a bad attitude. You got Johnny Depp's wolf costume from Into the Woods. Multiple Mary Poppins costumes, including Emily Blunt and, of course, Julie Andrews. Oh, sir, I love that Mary Poppins. Nicholas Cage's outfit from National Treasure. Allie would love that too. Oh, man, they've got Tron costumes. Oz the Great and Powerful costumes. The Santa Claus Three costumes. Even Prince Edward's costume from Enchanted. That was one heck of a good movie. Whoa, and best of all, Belle's dress from Beauty and the Beast. Oh my, my, that Emma Watson. Sorcerer's Apprentice. Alice in Wonderland. More Enchanted Hook. And Once Upon a Time. Even Captain Jack Sparrow himself. Johnny Depp? Dude, think about it. Johnny Depp actually wore those clothes. Actually, that's something I've never thought of before. You do a movie, you wear the clothes day after day, and then when you're done, you gotta give them back. That's weird. Not a lot of times in normal life where you wear a shirt around for a few weeks, get it nice and sweaty, and then give it back. Well, except maybe at Target. I heard you can return anything to Target. Whoa, look at this here. Cruella de Vil. She was quite the fashionista. She had very particular taste in cars, too. Hey, check that out. The Cruella Mobile. Now, last time, I believe the Walt Disney Archives exhibit at D23 was all Pirates of the Caribbean related. I believe the time before that, the theme was all kind of around Disney's 60th anniversary, so lots of Disney parks, history, ride vehicles. So each show, they go with a radically different theme. I love that, because each D23 you feel like you're seeing a little show you'll never be able to see again. By the way, look at that means of conveyance, huh? Driver, can we tally ho over to Disneyland for a wedding? Man, so many pieces of so many people's childhoods in here. And hey, look at this. Man, so many pieces of so many people's childhoods in here. And look at this. They've got costume design as far back as Swiss Family Robinson, those Callaways, even Zorro. See, now that. That's Disney to me, the old Zorro show and stuff. I'm always grateful to grow up in a time where the early Disney Channel couldn't really show any new Disney stuff. We got quite a lot of Senor Zorro, let me tell you. Wow, look at that. Even costume design from Mary Poppins is in here. I wish I could make costumes. I wish I could make anything other than trouble, a mess, noise. Ah, oh well, what can I say? It's my calling. Dear, wow, pretty awesome. When I come to D23, I don't come for the panels. I come for the old ride vehicles, the cool archive stuff, the updates on what's happening in the parks, and of course to meet all you random land adventurers out there, the friends of the show. It is always an amazing, mind-blowing experience. Oh no, it's weird. I'm one of those people that usually takes costume design for granted, but exhibitions like this are cool because they remind even people like me, you know, the dullards, that uh, a lot of work and talent goes into this stuff. Alright, well they only let a certain number of people in here at any given time, so we might as well make some room for some other people to see the cool stuff. Man, I gotta say, the archives booth every D23 ends up being my favorite. Guys, D23 is so huge. We never have time to show everything, like the Hallmark booth, the luggage booth, the sunglasses booth. There's just too many booths. Look at this, a whole sock booth, a thermos booth. You know there's a lot going on if you've got a thermos booth. There's pins and jewelry and vinyl and Ursula getting married. Star Wars stuff and Marvel stuff. Comics and books books and toys. Literally everything from precious moments to jelly bellies and even a jelly bean 
artist. What? You got a free sample? I want one. Oh, there's just so much to see. And then there's all the interesting people and costumes. Ah, check out the back. He's talking. That's insane. Oh, and I forgot to show you the coolest booth of all. The freaking Disney character puppet booth. Look at this. Folk Man's puppet somehow got permission to create puppets for Winnie the Pooh, characters from Ratatouille, and up, and of course, some of the classics. Oh my gosh. This is like a dream come true. Oh boy, welcome to my convention. <laughs> Brett's not gonna like that one. Well, I'm no Brett Iwan, but that sure is a lot of fun. Oh, look at this, they've got a zero puppet alley. You want this. Oh my gosh, it's hard to tell in here, but the nose even lights up. Oh, I need those puppets, and I need this. Mickey Crock Pots, Mickey Popcorn Makers, Mickey Fing. Oh my gosh, all of your kitchen accessories can be Mickey. Someone slipped a Mickey in my toaster. <laughs> These are hot items. Here, get it? Get it? Just when you think the Mickey kitchen stuff has gone too far, check out the booth next door. There's a whole Cheshire Cat couch back there. Oh my gosh! What kind of world are we living in? A freaking fun world. That's what kind. I'm starting to have a problem at these conventions because I'm talking to so many people in between each shot filming here that it's becoming more and more and more difficult for me to see the whole thing in just one day. Luckily though we got in early enough that we still saw quite a lot. Just not a lot of the merchandise. Wow that is incredible. Did you see that? It's everybody's mother-in-law. I'm not much of a panel person because there's so much going on on the show floor to see. But don't forget about all the crazy panels and announcement events going on out here. After parties, meetups, all the secret meetings. Oh man, the freaking Rocketeer. Where do you get those dapper outfits, Cliff Secord? There's just so much going on here. Ay, ay, ay. There's all kinds of mysterious celebrity meet and greets we haven't been able to see. And strange interactive exhibits. And look at this. National Geographic's got some kind of ocean exhibit as well. Oh, they scanned our badges. Oh, they're giving us a free magazine. Here. Projectors everywhere and shadows everywhere too. Hi mom! Ooh, I believe all the artwork in here is made out of plastic and other common things dumped into oceans, which is kind of what this issue is about. Oh, oh topical. Weird. I was entertained and I learned. All right, we are now trying to squeeze in every last little thing we can see before we wrap up day one out here. Especially because this is the only day I can do any filming. I'll be at the booth for the most part tomorrow. Davy Crockett's handprint. Sweet. Anyway, and then Allie and I are headed out of town on a plane on Sunday. So this is just the beginning of the craziness for us. Wow, look at this. Everybody's getting a closer look at the Haunted Mansion costume. This is easily the Thank best you. costume I've ever seen, you guys ever in the world. Oh, and of course they won. They won. Congratulations. Wow. Holy moly. You thought the front of her was impressive. Check out the back, dude. Look at that. So many little scenes are replicated. And not only that, but all these little doom buggies were actually moving earlier. They only stopped because after all this time today, the costume ran out of batteries. Now, I've been stopped at various times throughout the show by upwards of, I don't know, 20, 30 people at a time wanting to take pictures and talk to me and stuff like that. But even I haven't been stopped as many times as this lady right here. Now, she has managed to work her way through this whole building. Now that is some serious dedication. Yeah, look at this. We're doing a sick pick right now. Sick pick. Let me guess. Sick pick time. Yes. yes. Sick pick. Sick pick, sick pick sick time. Pick. Cheese. Wait, why am I saying cheese? One more sick pick. More sick pick. Sick picks with sick shirts. Sick pick. Wait, wait. We're roping Allie into the picks. More sick pick. Look at this. We got another sick shirt over here. Sick up every corner we turn, hey. more friends. Oh man, even Grand Admiral Thrawn is here. Thrawn, we should get a sick pick later. Oh, watch out, watch out. 
There's gonna be a battle here. A crossover for the ages. Look at more sick pigs! We're so sick! Been taking a lot of sick pigs today, Ernie! Woo! Been busy like this all day long. Wait a minute. Hey, check it out! The street party's back! How about that? Hey Mickey! Hey Minnie! Oh! oh we got Kenny Ortega, Tom Bergeron. A fresh crop of celebrities. What a fun one! Look at him! Luminaries! We love it! People who did things! I'm sorry, my brain is getting tired. Pretty darn cool that they just come right in front of the booth right here. I didn't know we had an awesome parade viewing spot. Even the Queen of England likes to watch the parades from here. Hey, look who stopped by! It's Grunkle Stan! Uh-oh, we're forming a line for a fun pig! So <laughs> many sick pigs! Oh, sick hats too! Oh, more sick hats! Sick hats everywhere! Look at this, even Bob has got a sick hat over here uh, with your own look. accomplishments on your hat and your own coffee. Oh, you finally yes. showed up. Up here on the top. Okay, yes. yeah. And look, Marceline's finest coffee. Oh, look you're gonna the need last, it. There's quite the a lot of people slurp. looking for you, Bob. Try quite a lot of people. Oh, look at that. That's an old school shirt from when I stormed Area 51 before it was cool. Bob has shown up to do his work and he has quite the situation on his hands. Look at this, Bob is so important. They bring the Skyway bucket to him to sign. I love that. Oh, there's a there's Coles to Newcastle, I'll tell you. <laughs> hey Bob, who designed this? Yeah, who designed this, Bob? Oh, uh, by the name of Roberto Garini. Oh, now they're asking if we want to get in. Oh, I'll get in. Yep, get Bob in there first. We'll get a picture of Bob in the sky bucket there. Oh, wow, look at that. They're going faster at $500,000 each now. <laughs> now I'm hopping in. It's All not right. every day you get a ride to Disneyland yeah, Skyway with Bob Gurr. Yeah, no smoking in the car. All right, we'll keep the door closed right, and yeah. remain seated at all, all times. times. All right. That's all right. Okay, hey, look at all this. All the people way down there. Look. Oh, don't down. spit, Bob. Oh, oh, don't oh, spit on them. Oh, oh, no, no, they're waiting. waiting oh, okay. Yeah, Goodbye, everybody. Yeah. Oh, Goodbye. There's the chicken in the sea restaurant. Look, it's right there. <laughs> okay. It's almost over. Only a few seconds left of D23. Just waiting for that announcement. Wait for it. Wait for it. The big announcement. All right. We D23 as hard as we could, but we can't D23 no more. We've done our duty. Time to go home and sleep well. Thank you guys for watching and coming along with us to D23 once again. A little bit chaotic today with meeting and greeting people everywhere and running the booth here for a bar. And trying to sell coloring books. But we made it through. Until the next D23. See you guys later. Goodbye. We're, not, we're not done. We have two more oh. days of this. Well, yeah, but we're they don't done. have two more days of this. They just get this. Oh, they just get this. Yeah, they're done. They've done their duty. We gotta okay. keep working. Well, then uh, stay alive two more years and then you can come oh, back you can and do come it again. In, yeah, in person. Oh, yeah, yes, okay. in person, yes. Uh, see you later. All right, toodaloo, toodaloo, show you yeah. I have now written a book as well look at this and mine has pictures yeah but it's a cartoon big cartoon a little picture book with only a couple of but words I wrote captions in there oh, I'm an author I was thinking that I'll give you an award and you give me an award and then we'll both be award-winning authors how's that sound to oh, you, you 
You go to the darndest lengths to get some kind of attention. What's your book called? Oh, I can't remember the name. I have to pick it up and read it. <laughs> Coloring book. Yeah. Oh, and you can actually use crayons. Oh my. Oh, God. you know what? The second edition. You should let me put oh, your. Yeah. You should oh. let me put you in there. Oh. Well, so you'll be in the second edition, oh, maybe. You can we'll buy see. my book. Okay, on. your book. Is on yeah. Amazon. Amazon. My oh. book is only at D23. D23. Now you see how exclusive you are. Yes. Yeah, but I'm making the money. <laughs> oh, that's true. <laughs> I failed you again, <laughs> Bob. Okay. okay. Well, okay. tell everyone where they get it. So All they go right. Bob Gurr yes. and get this and visit Waltland. Yes. Go on Bob Gurr's Waltland okay. History yes. Bus Tour. All, All right. right. Now I'll let you get back to that line okay. of people. Who are right. clamoring for your does autograph. This come, does this come with the free Crayolas? Yes, and I'm going to actually, I'm going to give crayolas. you one of these and sign it for you because you gave me one of these and signed it for me. Okay, all right. So, we'll, so we'll, we're even now. Okay, we're even. All right, Bob. We'll see you later. Buy this wonderful product. Oh, it's moving now. That is awesome. That is so cool. Now, you knew you were designing a ride vehicle, but did you ever think you were designing a dress? Yeah, mechanical dress. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> look yeah, at that. Kind I can look underneath and see what else is going on. In yeah, there. lots going on underneath Whoa, that one. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's oh, amazing. Boy. That is oh, so. Oh my God, that is the most awesome thing I have ever, ever. What did you guys do with the big thunder one from last time? We still have it. You guys still have it. Oh my Thank gosh. Thank you. Unbelievable. There's so much detail in there. We actually sold it to Bob at Walt's Barn a couple years ago. Yeah. Unbelievable. We were at the Walt's Barn at the same time the Bob was. Oh my gosh. That is incredible. The uh, three layers the machine have the chain chain drive all the bicycle parts. Type 35A uh, chain Shimano. Uh, Bearings, the sprockets on it. You see them down, see them down in there, look. See, look at that. Those, How do you know sprockets? that instantly? Because I, I'm an engineer. Yeah, because you're Bob Gurr, yeah, Disney I, legend. I know this stuff, yes. <laughs> look at this. I know, oh, it's yeah. fabulous. There's the bride in there. We got the yeah, attic. And, and look how smart it is. It's on a metal frame with casters. Yeah. She doesn't have to lift it. And you knew the real Yoda. Yeah, the real one, yes, sure did. Now it's that, just that. the spirit. Oh How about that? That's the best thing in D23. Why are you guys bothering <laughs> Spider-Man? Leave <laughs> Spider-Man <laughs> alone! He has enough trouble with Sony and Disney <laughs> right now as it is. Give me trouble. Right? Oh my gosh, look at that! Look at Wait, this. Wait, you said two! Yeah, I said two. Okay, okay, okay you ready? said one, two. Should I do a burst? All okay. right, you guys want to say hi to the camera? Go ahead, say hi! hi. You've done your duty, and now? Yes, we can go home and sleep with Awesome. Dude, oh, dude that, awesome. that is the sickest cosplay of them all. Cliff freaking Seacord is on the floor. Look at that. That is the rocket. Oh, wait. <laughs> it's right there. Oh, there's a rocket. I want a rocket. Dude, Adam, did you see? The Living Seas. The Living Seas vehicle. Now, you grew up going to Free Disney World. Nemo. So you remember this. You've sat and sit in it again. I want to see you in it. Yeah, I want to see Yes. I want to see I'm you sitting in this. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, so you're not allowed to sit there. <laughs> you bring back memories. How does that make you feel? Oh, man, it's like nostalgia overload. You feel oceany? It's comfortable. You feel like Jacques Cousteau? Jacques Clouseau? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Don't get out. Don't get out. Let me let me cuddle in there with you. Let me cuddle in. Let's touch knees. Yes. Okay, so now we're picturing what it would have been like in the 80s. This is it. We're in the, the Living Seas. We're in the Living Seas? It's the 80s. Okay, we're in the Living Seas. What are we seeing? No pun intended. We're not seeing Nemo. We wouldn't be seeing these. No, we wouldn't be there, seeing this. There wouldn't be anybody walking by. We would be seeing... You're putting me on the spot here. Fish. We I'm be, guessing. We'll be seeing fish. Uh -huh. We'll be seeing under... Like this? Under life... <laughs> Is that a fish? <laughs> you need a fish. Uh, <laughs> okay. We would be seeing. We'd be seeing eighties. What, what would you say? Good. We'd be seeing eighties. Good. Wonderful. Wonderful. Good. I'm in love. I'm in love. I'm in love. Does it make you uncomfortable to have my arm? A little bit around you like this. That uncomfortable. I can get comfortable. Whenever I'm in, in the living seas, I whoever. 
I'm riding a, in a ride vehicle with the living seas. I put my arm around him like this. <laughs> no, for real. Don't put your head down. Put your head up. Keep your head up. Uh -huh. got, <laughs> you suddenly got video. really warm in here. In the future. What's that? I'm trying to do a Doc Brown, but it's oh. turning more into like a Seinfeld. Well, I was going to say, in case I don't see you, good afternoon, afternoon good, good evening, evening, and good night. Good night. See you later, buddy. Go enjoy the convention. We'll hang out later. We'll get some fries. Some bottomless lies. Goodbye, Wu. And we never saw him again. It was so sad. Uh.